Hey guys, how you going? What's going on? Um, so I'm back. Um, it's been it's been about three years. So I first come to this place about three years ago. I'm at Bombo Quarry. If you haven't noticed already, um, absolutely awesome place. This is kind of the place where you really know that mother nature has a grip on us you can see how you could quite easily get sucked straight into the ocean here but anyway jumping around trying to get some cool photos the light's going to come up soon um so let's get into it Awesome, awesome sunrise. Some really good light on this rocks over here. Um, but yeah, overall really, really quite a good morning. Um, as I said before, this is such an awesome place. Such a cool example of like the power of mother nature. But anyway, um, like yesterday, I'm really not too sure what the rest of the day is gonna hold. Um, but yeah hit the road and try to find some cool places to shoot. All right guys, so we are heading towards Belmore Falls. Belmore Falls is Kind of about an hour from Kayama, so heading along this road here, the drive is actually pretty awesome, which is cool. Um, but some of my favourite waterfall shots are actually from Belmore Falls, so it'll be pretty good to get my own interpretation of a really cool location. Um, it is pretty sunny outside at the moment, so I'm not too sure how it's going to go for waterfall photography, but we're going to give it a go anyway. So I've set my camera up on a ledge over there, um, just in front of the waterfalls, and I've grabbed my signature somewhat cliche red jacket, and I'm gonna go stand under this waterfall to give it a bit of scale. So, wish me luck. Let's hope we don't fall into this water. Yes, got him. Camera's nice and wet. Woo. All right, I've got a shot set up here and I've kind of got my tripod in a bit of a different position to what I would normally would. Um, so the really cool thing about an L bracket is you can drop the camera into the drop notch onto the horizontal position rather than the vertical. And what I'm doing here is a bit of a vertical pano. So I've done six shots here, starting at the foreground here and leading up into the waterfall. Um, so let's jump into the camera and I'll show you exactly what I'm doing now. 
So this is the main reason why I really like to have an L bracket on my camera. So then all I can do is just undo this notch and I can move my camera up and down rather than having to worry about it dropping forward or back. So I've started on 40 seconds, F11 and 100 ISO. Um, I'm on 24 millimeters on the lens. Um, and if I jump into my shots now, I've done one for the foreground, middle, 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 and the top of the frame. Um, but yeah, I think that's going to look awesome in post. Um, and I'll chuck the final shot up on the screen right now. So using a longer lens length uh, compresses the scene down slightly, um, so it makes the foreground appear closer to the background. You can also do this by stepping back, zooming in and cropping the image. Um, you can also do it by going really wide angle and cropping in on the image as well. By using this technique too, you also combine a handful of images together, which gives you a higher resolution um, and in the end gives you a sharper image. So there you go, Balmore Falls well and truly met my expectations. Absolutely awesome waterfall. Um, some really cool compositions. Uh, I really like that kind of foreground cascades in front of the main falls, that's sweet. But anyway, time to hike on back out and head back into Kayama for sunset. I kind of want to know from you guys, what do you want to see on this channel? What, what kind of videos do you want me to make? I've got some cool plans to do some different kind of stuff that I don't think I've seen too much on YouTube. But, um, you know, the vlogs are going to keep happening. Some tutorials are going to keep happening. I want to try to do some cool stuff with some, some big ND filters. Um, but yeah, chuck it in the comment section below. Let me know what you want to see on the Adam Dyson channel. sunset was pretty uneventful to a certain extent but still got some really nice light before the sun went behind the mountains also in landscape photography or especially in seascape photography I very rarely shoot above two seconds I normally shoot somewhere around the half second to two second kind of mark so it was fun to do some longer exposure photography so I did some 30 second and one minute exposures at stack rock behind me so that'll about do us for photography for today. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Make sure you like and subscribe below. Also, as I said before, chuck a comment in the comment section below about what you want to see on my channel. And until next time, I'll catch you later.